It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we'll play host to a battle between conferences. It's the Lions and the Chiefs on Thursday night primetime. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Tonight we kick off a new NFL season with the opener for 2023 as it will be the Detroit Lions taking on the defending Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis. Well, Charles, our eighth opening night broadcast together and we couldn't ask for a better place to be. Arrowhead Stadium. Stadium. Been a festive atmosphere all day. Smell of barbecue in the air. They unfurled the Super Bowl banner just a few moments ago. It's a celebration, and they are ready to get the new year started. What I like most part. A new season of NFL football is here, and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here and under center a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late and season number eight now out of Cal it's Jared Goff. Now the former bear this is David Montgomery and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards but no more. They'll go with a rookie from Alabama. It's Jameer Gibbs. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard game. Throwing on third. Golf. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. One down, only about 500 more to go this season. He would certainly welcome most of his passes this year going as well as that. On first and ten, here's Gibbs. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, then. Here's Goff now on second down. Caught by Montgomery. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. A give to Montgomery out of the gun. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery, 55 yards. And the Lions are on the board here first in the season opener. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big time success putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. That drive goes 80 yards in six plays. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. But the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. There's nothing the league's best quarterback didn't achieve last season. Super Bowl trophy, check. MVP award. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. To the completion, good for seven. They go play fake. Mahomes. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk. On first down, Mahomes. And that is. 
is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Here's Mahomes to throw. He's got this to the rookie, Rasheed Rice. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get it. Now a seventh round surprise from a year ago. It's Isaiah Pacheco. And he'll run straight into a wall of tacklers at the line of scrimmage. Throwing now is Mahomes. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll end up. To throw, it's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 25 yard line. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves his sticks. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football into field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. It's one of the better coaches in the league always. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's a... Mahomes now to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey from 10 yards out. And the Chiefs are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. Well, the lost sleep that the defensive coordinator had all week preparing for... And Bunker is on for the extra point. And he starts his new year off on the right foot as well as this kick is good. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it culminates in a... Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. Boy, just the... Now Goff on first down. His throw incomplete. He's trying to get it to Alvin Rossine. Well, on second down, Montgomery. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Holding offense. Now it's gone. He'll find his rookie tight end, Sam Laporta. So the completion results there in nine. From the gun on third down, gone. Caught by Jones. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We've seen quite a bit of the short. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. From the gun, here's Goff. And that's to Armand Rossine Brown. And he'll be brought Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and ten. 
from the gun. It's a give to Montgomery. Taken down at the 30. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard game. Goff going to get this to Gibbs. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Goff. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that could be one of those turning point plays in a ball game. A field goal gets you the lead here, but they want to make a statement and get six points. And they're certainly going to get that opportunity as they get the conversion and set up first and goal. They'll run with Gibbs. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Jameer Gibbs with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Lions have taken the lead. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And we got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But, but two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coach to be a little bit more involved. But I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. What about, I mean, this is the other one. Guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something? When you see those guys make that move, I don't mind that at all, all right? A little more expressionism for these guys. I love it. I just think we didn't go far enough. What about double zero, like Jim Otto used to wear or Kenny Burrow used to wear? Let's add that back to the NFL jerseys. Take it in at the 22. That's a 49-yard punt. Eight, though, on the return. And the Lions will take over. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because, remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Now gone. Looking downfield for Jones. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. So as they talk it over, we step aside. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. Fielded just inside the 20. A nice job getting free on the return for 13 yards. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. We'll see how this one continues.
We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. Mahomes now on first down. And this pass caught by Gray. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Fighting to stay upright. A good decision in the end. The pull and run gets him nine yards and a first. They asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they get a least attempt to kick before the half. And he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield. So he took it upon himself to get them into field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot. And he gets it down to the 32. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Here's a second and five. Now here's Mahomes. The throw for Tony is intercepted. Jack Campbell with a pick. And the Lions are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. Well, when you draft a guy that high defensively, you hope he can make some plays for you. And he does indeed get the interception there, Charles, in his first NFL ball game. And to think that if there was any flaw to his game coming out of college, the way that we looked at tape and judged it, it was his pass coverage, defending the pass. But that's just a great instinct right there to snip that one out, be in the right position, and come away with the interception. After the interception, here's Goff. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. Well, that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First down. Here's Gaw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. There's Gaw. And he finds Montgomery complete. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. And meanwhile, Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. And in for the Lions, touchdown! Amon Ross St. Brown from 17 yards out. And the Lions will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game, it's all coming together so far. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And it's now 21-7. to And Patterson back out there to send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now another timeout called for by the offense as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Mahomes now on first down. And no hesitations, they go right back to Kelsey. Now a signal in the timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and this will remain a two-touchdown game. 
Yeah, it's been a disappointing first half for him, all things considered. And this can serve as the capper. It's a missed field goal in the late going, and that's only going to serve to lessen the mood even further. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. Pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get back out to you guys in KC in just a moment. But first, let's look ahead what should be a tremendous opening weekend for 2023. In the 1 o'clock games, one that immediately catches the eye is in our nation's capital, a big test for the Washington Commanders as they'll square off with the visiting Arizona Cardinals. In the late afternoon games, the place to be might very well be Denver, Colorado, where it'll be the Broncos taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. And then on Sunday night, the national audience in for a treat. They've got a good one lined up between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. In the first half, it was the Alabama man, Jameer Gibbs, who had it cooking. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break, but I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. In motion left goes a tight end. They'll try for the first with Pacheco. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Just to pick up a three, but that is indeed enough. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. They go play fake. Mahomes. Over the middle, complete. That's Rice. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and four. Mahomes going to throw. A dump down to McKinnon. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 45-yard line. That's good for a Kansas City Chiefs. First down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw here complete to Kelsey. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. Well, their first sack of the game, and it doesn't come from a usual suspect, not somebody up front, but Charles, a defensive back getting in there. And I can tell you from experience, he's beyond excited to make that play because you're exactly right. Is it normal to call his number to run at the quarterback like that? Usually you're defending the pass. 
but he takes full advantage and dumps him to the turf. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at the 20. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run. But the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Now a second and six. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. From this vantage point, they've got the lead here, so for me, that'd be enough to go ahead and punt the football and let my defense defend the long field. If you go for it, you don't get it, then you really put your defense in a tight spot. Yeah, but we never know what people ultimately will decide to do here on fourth and inches. This first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. That ball caught. It's Rice. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Boy, 30 more yards and another first down. They, they made no bones about it. They wanted to throw this rookie right into the fire, see what he could do. He shows what he can do there. And you have to really put the time and effort in because playing a receiver in the NFL is a difficult task. And for a rookie, all that you have to learn to get on the same page with your quarterback that's excellent coaching, and how about how he's picked things up? Picking things up in a big way with a big play in his NFL debut. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. On first down, Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed there. You want to fire the offensive coordinator on that one or what? <laughs> They've gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense. And that is caught for a touchdown, Kansas City. Kadarius Tony, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, we're to be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there. And they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. And Detroit getting set to go now. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Here's second and seven now from the 28. 
at the 28 yard line. They'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Now gone. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. With that grab, he now sits at 200 for his career and maybe more importantly, a first down. Sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. And Gibbs has it. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs' 43-yard line. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Goff wants to throw on third and one. And will find the open man. That's complete. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Gibbs straight ahead. And he will have a Lions first down, and that's the one that should seal a victory. And they'll indeed take a knee. Second and 11 now. Hand off now to Gibbs. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. And just how they envisioned the start of the season, kneeling it down, defense can't stop the clock. This one's a winner. You know what's really strange? I think a lot of people think that the kneel down practice stuff really only happens like one time a week. The best teams I know, they practice starting back in OTAs. They want them to visualize winning a game and how great that feels, and they got it done in this one. Yep, a knee gets them to 1-0. Well, partner, the season officially underway. It was great to be back with you, obviously. But the first game of the year, always a special one. And love, I know you do too, love having it on a Thursday night. Yeah, I think it makes it special, right? It makes it so that everyone is just watching, all eyes on it on a special night like that. I think it's going to be a great season, partner. Can't wait for the next several months. We know there are going to be surprises all the way through the season. And before we know it, we'll be talking.